What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. I want to talk why right now is an amazing time to buy into SoFi, especially considering it is on the verge of a very nice rally. So I'm going to go over all the fun stats and facts and things that you need to know coming from an investor standpoint. But before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. With that, let's get right to it. Live ticker is going at the very bottom of the screen, up currently 0.5%, 29.1 million for volume, 4.8 million shares being purchased by institutions on the secondary market. So one thing I've really noticed over the last couple of videos, and I definitely have stressed that and pointed it out, is institutions are really starting to get back into SoFi and purchasing it both on the secondary market and the dark pool. So let me know your thoughts on that. That's always generally a very good sign. More so in roughly about two weeks or so, you do get a lot more articles coming out from institutions saying that it is now the time to buy and that the bottom is in. So I'm definitely calling the bottom, whether it be today or possibly was yesterday. Uh, again, that's a little bit more of a bold statement, but keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence at the end of the day. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. And when it came to it though, CPI data came out a little bit more negative. If you do look at it on paper, month over month, it did increase 0.4%. As far as the forecast, it was 0.2. Year over year, 8.2 compared to 8.1. So like I said, on paper, people initially saw this data and it went down. Everything went down. But like I always do in a lot of videos, you need to see what the true data is physically saying. So again, this is why we're trending up right now is because if a lot of people do look at the CPI data, the true data, things are starting to go down. So one negative side of the CPI is the energy. Uh, so energy is very volatile lately and it's been skewing CPI for the longest time, for the, all basically 2022. But if you do compare July to August, just the basket items, so excluding energy, things started to kind of stabilize a little bit. If you look at August to September, the basket items did truly go down. So this in reality is a very, very good sign. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. I've been really stressing CPI to you guys through videos on why right now, if this is and was positive, this is going to be the starting point to a very nice rally. So again, let me know your thoughts on that. When it comes to it though, SoFi recently announced their Q3 earnings and that is going to be on November the 1st. I'm going to be live streaming that, so make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe as it was greatly appreciated. But when it comes to it though, I think this Q3 earnings is going to be a very, very exciting one, especially with all the recent data that we do have coming out of the marketing campaigns that they were doing in Q3. Everything goes to show and is insinuating that this earnings is going to be epic. And if so, then this is going to solidify us into a nice transition period, hopefully out of this bear market. So once again, if you do couple that with, for instance, this data, midterm elections, then that would even solidify even more of a rally. And looking at all these historical data, I did vaguely touch on this already previously. So if you do couple the amazing Q3 earnings with the huge amount of momentum that should come to the broader market, you get a very good thing going on. Over and above that, the Feds. So the Feds are going to be making their decision on November the 2nd. Obviously, I think right now the estimate and the forecast is going to be 75 basis points, getting us to around that 4% range. In the end though, I always say this all the time, SoFi is going to be making a lot more money the higher the interest rate and people seem to forget that. So when it comes to it though, we did raise our rates to 2.5% APY compared to the Fed rate of 3.25%. So in the actual Q2 earnings, so the, the gap between the two was 0.6%. This most likely on average is going to be 0.7%. So comparing Q3 to Q2, we should in theory just make more money just fundamentally based on that, even taking everything out. So definitely goes to show a lot of good things are going to be coming for SoFi. So even if they do raise the rates to 4%, I personally feel that's already factored into the market. So SoFi should actually get a double benefit from that. So the broader market should have a nice rally and also SoFi will be making more money. It's a win-win for SoFi, win-win for investors as well. When it comes to it though, also in January, it's going to be the student loan payments that's going to be starting to kick back in. That's going to be another revenue source for SoFi. And like I said, if you do couple all of this together with this, it goes to show the market should have a very, very good rebound based on all of that fun stuff. Institutions, like I said, purchasing on the secondary market and 
also the dark pool is continuing to go up. And unfortunately, based on the last couple of videos, when I have physically talked about SoftBank leaving, and I kind of mentioned it in a different format where a lot of people didn't really like that. At the end of the day, what I mean by we need an institutional presence is that any stock can go up fundamentally, but based on the actual outstanding shares, retail does own 50%. That's the latest numbers that have come out. That's pretty substantial, but retail doesn't really work in sync together. And so when it comes to SoFi going to $20 or possibly higher, we need institutions. I know some people might disagree with that, but at the end and how I've seen things, you don't get any company going to the moon without having some sort of backing. Again, I could be completely wrong. Let me know in the comments below if there's a stock that you know that has gone up considerably and stayed there, not just a quick spike up and down, but have gone up, stayed there without institutional kind of uh, backing to some sort. So this is where I'm getting at when it comes down to SoFi. A lot of institutions seem to like to get in and possibly whether they flip it or whatever it might be, but I want a big institutional backing. Whether BlackRock does physically get in more severely on a lot of their positions or whatever Whatever it might be, I, I'm not really sure who potentially could be a good candidate, whether it be Kathy Woods, technically though, that might be a little bit more of a negative, but still, you guys get what I'm saying. I'm looking for the next big thing is institutions to get in, because it's one thing in reality we can easily, most likely, at least get to around the $7.50 range without facing any real resistance, but for us to get over that and back to the $15 and $20 range, we need institutions plain and simple. But still, once again, I could be completely wrong about all of this and not only that though like I've been saying in the last couple of videos SoFi has really tried to mitigate a lot of its risk through technically Galeo, Technicis and also just the fundamental business as well so even if a recession possibly could happen SoFi is very well established so I think SoFi is a all-in-one company and that's exactly what they're trying to portray themselves as. SoFi is definitely a diamond in the rough and when it comes to the huge amount of retail presence this is where a lot of manipulation can come into play. So in the end though, we could also have a short squeeze that helps us propel us to higher levels. But more so, I'm a big fan of the technicals. Technicals are starting to look very, very appealing. And this is why I'm saying we can easily get to around the 750 range or roughly about $8.14 without any very strong resistance kind of facing. And more so even tomorrow, given the circumstances and how things are starting to develop, I personally feel we can easily get to the higher percentile of the Boilinger band. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Stochastic, we do have a nice deviation. So black line above the red showing a nice bullish trend is starting to form. Retail is starting to get back in to SoFi, which again is a very good sign in the bigger picture. RSI is also at 42 and on the actual chart, we're holding very strong. So at the end though, I think that big fear about reverse stock split technically will not develop into anything. I personally think that we will never even have that reverse stock split because we have to be below $5 for 10 consecutive days. We've kind of flirted with it, had two separate days on where we stayed below that. But outside of that, I think fundamentally retail and also institutions know its value and want to keep it above the $5 mark. That's obviously how I interpret things in the end though. But given all of the facts I just talked about, which for the most part are all just short-term catalysts, is all very much reasons that SoFi can easily trend up. Let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below though. So if you feel that a rally is going to be coming or a recession, let me know in the comments. Definitely it could go either way depending on certain circumstances. Like I said about the feds, for instance, if they raise it 1% or even possibly even higher, likelihood isn't there. But if they do, that could change a lot of the dynamic on how the economy is going to be playing out. So definitely a lot of different moving parts all at once. And it's been like that for the last uh, give or take six months, possibly even longer. So very interesting time for investors. But as I always say, SoFi is a long-term investment. That's how it needs to be sought out. And at the end, you're going to make a ton of money. You just need to practice patience. And that's in reality, one of the hardest things to do as an investor. But if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. And with that, let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.